Hello everyone and welcome back to Boys vs. Men. Or as I as I like to refer to the Kriegsmarine vs. US paratroopers who know what the hell they're doing. As opposed to my guys, who on occasion can't find the trigger on a gun which is composed mostly of the trigger and wood. I would be surprised if it didn't fire wood bullets. Yeah, I trust you guys more with the close firing mission actually and you guys more with the long range ass kicking. That that just sounds more natural to me. Alright, get to it. Up to you. You guys are just put some fire down there. Hold on, what's the what's the trajectory on that? It's like a giant retarded rainbow. <laughs> oh my god. If this is not abuse of firepower, I don't know what is. We're hitting targets this accurately. I wonder if we can put mortars right in the middle, right there. It's really close to our guys, but from what I've seen, it's not too hard for them. Screw it. We're putting it into this kill zone. Mortar people, don't fail me now. Also, engineers, please stay alive. You're really important to me. On a deeply personal level. Anyway. Let's go ahead and throw some more mortars in there. It's really helping our Kriegsmarine boys out by taking a lot of the fire off of them, mostly by disintegrating it with, you know, a mortar. God, I love mortars. Seriously, mortars are one of my favorite just weapons in general. Because they just make such a nice dunking sound when they fire. I don't know, I guess it really isn't that nice of a sound if you're, you know, on the wrong end of the mortar, but it's a pretty pretty cool sound though. I mean let's let's be honest. I'm gonna have that small mortar fire over here to reduce uh, collateral damage. Please don't land directly on top of my guys. Please don't land directly on top of my guys. Oh, they're not even firing yet. Oh god. That that arc. Straight up in the heavens. Just, oh my god, are you firing? <laughs> they got that mortar pointing damn near straight up. Danger close. Or how to provide artillery support for yourself. For dummies. Yeah, weird sound glitches. God, I love that sound.
I just love the animations in here too. Because they've always got the part where he takes the the uh, shell out. You got a part where he corrects the mortar. Puts the thing in the mortar and he goes Doom! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and say that squad is pretty well suppressed. How many shells do I have in my wonderful arc of death right now? I guess none. Let's go ahead and um Good job. Good job, boys. Everyone else just kind of take cover. Also, isn't there someone coming from Duckenberg Farm? That mortar barrage and fired. There's someone right there. Undeploy that weapon, and if I run across this bridge, how likely is it that I'll just get shot in the face? Alright, we'll turn to face that way. And if nothing happens to us, we're golden and we won the war. Alright, you're all riflemen now because you're also all out of mortars. Go ahead and put that mortar up. Get out your rifle and get ready to shoot some more. Cause that's what we do, we shoot guns. Also, I know there's a guy right back here. So I'm just gonna pop a friendly 30 second mortar barrage around him. It's a friendly mortar barrage, so that they know that, you know, we're friends. It's how friends say hi to each other in my country, which is also America, because of all of our guns, because we are strong. Like on occasion I'll see my neighbor Jim across the street and I'll just pull out my mortar and fire it at him and, you know, destroy a good quarter of his house and he'll say, oh hey, it's, it's a tomato, and I'll be like, hey Jim, we'll have a small mortar duel and it'll look exactly like this. Except our houses are right next to each other, as opposed to over a field which we set on fire with mortars. Anyway. No. no. You, you stop that. No. You know, someone's gonna hit him eventually. I mean, dear god, they might suck at shooting, but eventually they'll hit him. If you shoot enough belts of MG42 fuel at them. Wait. You know what? MG42 fuel. That's what it is now. They're no longer bullets. They are fuel for the MG42s. And you know what? These guys aren't all dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and call that mission success. Mission Golden Ocelot 2-5 is critical success. Go ahead and actually set you guys up in this building.
Because if the Americans are over here at all, they've outflanked us already. Though I would expect them to start shooting, so I don't think they're actually on that side. Oh! Aha! Where's Hans? Where's that crazy bastard machine gunner? Two ice bucks. I promised. Ha 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 We hit him. I was right. If you throw enough MG42 fuel at someone, eventually they explode. Alright, let's see what the briefing says. What are my, uh... Mm, just occupy and destroy objectives. I'm actually gonna go ahead and set up this MG42 doing exactly the same thing. Because it turns out he was really well covered down here. get down here and do that as well. Don't deploy though. Just just be chill. Just in case in the next 20 minutes there's another attack to our right. Which I mean I wouldn't put past them. They could be sneaky. Gonna take a real quick peek over the top. See if anyone's still hanging out over there. There's only four riflemen who haven't done much, so. Yep, there are still Americans out here somewhere. Somewhere. Over the rainbow. Put another 15 rounds, or 15 seconds of rounds on that guy. And we'll just head back. Uh, we'll we'll get to him in a few few minutes. And if no attack comes over here, we can just shift our MG42s up. I'm gonna give them till ten minutes to attack us. Can test the waters. If he pops off in that direction. I wonder what that order must sound like to those guys in the bunker. Just Take a few pot shots at that farm over there. Uh, yeah. There are some slightly disgruntled Americans over here. Oh my god, they're so disgruntled. Oh, I love it. The mortars are already on the case. Good job making so much damn noise you got yourself killed. Winner of the stupid award. For supreme stupidity. 
you stupid. Actually, I don't need a full minute's worth, I just need like... Good 30 seconds worth of mortars and you just bash the ever-living shit out of that area. Alright, now let's party! Load faster, load faster, load faster, load faster. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Like an angry butterfly. That fires high explosives. Ideas? You could always surrender. Surrendering is extremely welcome. Oh god, no. Hans. He was supposed to be in charge of blowing up the bridge. Instead, he was in charge of getting shot in this stupid face. You're stupid, Hans. No offense. Just gonna let those mortars fire for effect. I'm gonna shift the rest of this platoon over this way. I think they could be a bit more helpful, you know, actually defending the bridge as opposed to, you know. Well, actually, no, you don't. Uh, as opposed to hanging out over here on the east side of the bridge, far, far away. Just uh, hold that reverse slope. Nothing, that, nothing bad ever happens to people who hold the, who hold those things, right? Yeah, right. That sounds good enough to me. Take out my bunker, I'm invincible. Oh, Jesus Christ, everyone died. Just a mortar shell. You're dying really loudly. I feel really bad having said that. You know, I'll bet those are rifle grenades that are actually being fired at us. No, I don't think we're actually having any effect on this house. I'm gonna let that other mortar keep firing on it. But meanwhile, we're gonna also fire right here. It's boom, bang, pow, explosion.
get shooting. You know that this new McCree's Marines mortars are over working overtime. Whoa, 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 really, man? What on earth possessed you to think that this, this grand charge, this time, was a great idea? They're everywhere. Yeah, they're fucking everywhere. Appreciate the bravery, soldier sniper, but Jesus Christ, that's a full platoon of Germans. It doesn't matter if they're armed with nothing but rifles and they're all 12 years old. Still pissed off, angry, and can kill you. Also, is this just the remnants of that guy? Is this a sniper? Otherwise, I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's not a sniper. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Surprise! You're in a kill box! You know, I've been thinking I might play through the Devil's Descent uh, campaign. Because I played through it once already, on my own. And I do like it. Oh hell, they're just they're just close enough to be in the line of fire. You know what? Put your remaining for whoa. I think the motors are starting to work. <laughs> These guys look like they're getting a little bit more nervous and a little bit more dead. All of which are pretty decently good things for me. Just, just, just. This is the one time I'll give you permission to run away. Right on top, it did land right on top of it. <laughs> yeah, orders and machine guns. It's like baking a cake of death. Did you guys stop shooting? Who told you you could stop shooting? Also, did the other machine gun guys run away? They did? Oh, nice. Right, cool. Um. So you guys are just gonna run up here real quick. It's sort of in the way of that tree. Just just set up right there. That's good enough. You might want to stay down. Also, congratulations to your team leader. But you might want to stay down anyway.
Did you guys take a casualty or something? I think there was a movie about this. Not this battle, but there was a movie about a bridge called The Bridge. It's a German anti-war film about like a bunch of boys defending a bridge or something. Hold on. Hold on. Does that fork of water, mate? Nope. I know where you are. There is no escape. Don't come to enough times will it fire itself. And now we're out of mortar high explosive shells. <laughs> Alright, three man team. That's enough to get an MG42 up and running. Can I have to admit, those MG42s really pulling their weight this battle. Yeah, there we go. I wonder how many kills it is per MG42. I'm gonna look at that at the end of the battle. Oh, it's a mortar back there. It's definitely possible to go out there and take the farm, but there's no real point to it. My objective is to hold the bridge. You're a dick. On the other side of I don't know how it hit you. I just don't. Do I still have a fire order on those guys? Really? What on earth would possess someone to stand up in the middle of a field full of dead people and say, You know what I'll do? I'll shoot at them. It's uh, the attack's over, dude. <laughs> I'll give them their last three minutes. See if they bring in a battalion or so.
There. Shut up that stupid mortar. You know, I don't feel, like, constrained to only shoot at one area. I mean, think of it more like a focus on shooting at that area. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call it there and just uh, go ahead and hit the ceasefire. Just because that's the allotted amount of time. Uh, wow, we really pulled that one off. Uh, damn near wiped up the American platoon. Got one survivor from what I guess was first platoon over, for first platoon over there. And, uh,. Four mortars. I'm curious about the kill stats on here are 21, 13, and 9. 9, none, 2, 10. I'm looking because I know there's, there's someone in here who's just obliterated someone. There almost always is. I think it really goes to these mortars. Each one of them took out about 10 guys. No, oh, ten upwards. Except for that one guy. Really effective, especially over here on the left. That's what really cleared up the whole thing for us. Was this attack on the left just disintegrated due to the mortars? Which, yeah, wow, those mortars were really well placed. Um... Over here, rather similar result, though this squad is slightly more together. And no one's broken. They're all significantly wrapped though. This mortar's alright, and this squad's alright. And the company headquarters is alright, kinda. Mostly because they're hiding behind the building. <laughs> Well, anyway, this battle went pretty well. See you all in the next one, where hopefully we don't have a bunch of 12-year-old children. Please, God. Anyway, see you guys then.